Are people who drive fast cars bellend? Yes or no? Please write below. Anyway, it is time to start the walk. I'm here by a roundabout in the middle of nowhere. Why? Because Martin Simon, author of Walk the Isle of Wight, has told me to come here. I've consulted his book, and apparently the start, according to the book, is the sportsman's rest. But on the GPX file, which I downloaded, it's taken me here to the middle of nowhere. So already there's controversy. Controversy? Controversy. You decide. This walk is 6.5 miles long. Previously, I've encountered dog attacks and uh, muddy paths that aren't mocked out with Martin Simon. So let's see what happens today. Good luck, everyone, especially me. Already, I've lost my faith in Martin Simon. 0.01 seconds into the walk. A record for Martin Simon. The early signs are that this path is not often used. There is some flimsy protection from the cows in place. Look at them run, you see. Obviously get, they're going to get their food. I've just thought of a very useful addition to walking apps. So please listen, Russell Outdoor Active. You could mark fields that could be used as cattle fields as red on maps. So you would know when you're going through and you could potentially plan a route around them. That would be very useful. Yes, thank you, Marrick. Yeah, you could call it the coward map. I knew you wouldn't understand sunglasses, Marrick. Thank God, there is a fence here. Me and the enemy. It's all right, it's all right. It's okay, here comes the cow. He wants to be in the picture. They're massive, look how big they are. This one definitely wants to be my friend. I need to go through here. This is the problem here. Look, this is the nightmare. If we just go through, it's all right. It's okay. We're going through here. It's okay. I'm just going this way. It's all right. Going this way. Here's a good cows. It's all right. Just going through and hoping they don't follow me. They are following me. If in doubt, just follow the hedge round. When you stop, they stop, that's the thing. Maybe they think I've got food. Martin Simon, I would just like to say that I really hate you right now. I'm going off route to hug the hedge to avoid the cows. What would your tactics be? Please write below, cow friends. This is my question that no one ever answers. If I was here in the middle of this field and the cows appeared and began to run after me, what do I do then? Do I make noise with my arms out? Do I run? Do I stand still? Because when they stampede at you, they're not gonna stop. Please tell me what to do. The cows have now left just as I have got to safety. From cows called dudes to mud, and it has been raining, 
but it is still in July, so this might be very difficult in winter. I can hear the spirit of Martin Simon laughing at me. <laughs> I don't know if he's dead or not, but sometimes I wish he was. The problem with Martin Simon's walks called Dean is now there's a sense of dread every time I walk into an open field as I don't know if there are going to be loads of cattle in it. <sighs> Bad news, Sportsman's Rest is closed. My dream of a nice pint of lager shandy laid in tatters. Where is Martin Simon taking me next? Oh look, a military firing range. Do not touch any military debris, it may explode and kill you. Uh, excuse me, Marek, do you know where I can get hold of some saucy pictures of sheep? Yes, you've come to the right place, my friend. Lambsleet's farm. Bay called dudes, and this is low tide. If you're planning to do this walk, it's very important you check the tide times because the sea comes right the way up here, and you can only do it two hours either side of low tide. It's also very stony, so you might want to wear decent footwear. I'm really worried, cool dudes, we might be stranded here in the tree graveyard. Is there a way through? If not, it could spell big trouble. Whatever you do, check your tide times. Gosh, this is awful. That was a bit sketchy, cool dudes, as my feet were sinking into the clay, as you can see here. I just hope I can get to the end of this bit before the tide comes in. A nice spot for lunch, which is water, ham and mustard baps, sweet chilli flavoured crisps and an apple, moderately healthy. Now into the last mile or so, it's time for the question of the day. I'm trying to do more reading called dudes because it's the thing I enjoy the most. Please write below your top three favourite books. I'd be very interested to read them. Nice one. Nice one, cool dudes. The walk is complete. 7.2 miles, almost five hours. It had everything. Cows, military shooting range, potentially fatal beach. Would I recommend that walk? Not especially, but at least doing it may have saved your life. I will beat you, Martin Simon. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please consider joining the Cool Dudes Walking Club where for just 99p a month you can get to use these emojis and also watch all these incredible videos as well as being entered into the prize draw and helping me continue to make videos on this channel. Thank you very much to everyone who has. Prize draw coming up next. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool. Hmm. 
I'll give Martin Simon his dues. He is incredibly consistent in trying to get me killed. But, oh look, what is this? A pencil and watercolour attempt of a picture of Thornis Bay. Distinctly average. This is on eBay now for £9.50. Please start bidding immediately to fund this channel. Right, cool dudes. Uh, you may remember that there was a poll for a new emoji. The winner of the poll, I can say, is, of course, Pigeon with 49%. So now you can do a pigeon emoji, as if I haven't seen enough of them already. The competition this week was to celebrate the launch of this Avebury zine, 32 pages of brilliance available for 4 99 on the website or 99p for a digital download. Also, members of YouTube called Dudes can get 50p off by going to the community and looking for the code there. And the first 100 who people who buy this are entered into a draw for this wonderful um, special edition print of the Avery Stones by Stripey Art. There are still some left to sell before I get to 100, so buy yours quick. Anyway, there's a lot of talking, isn't there? Yes, it's time for the prize draw. I said in the launch video that people who commented with a cow emoji in that video would be uh, able to enter the prize draw because I'm going to do a comment picker. The prize is for these wonderful posters by Hidden Britain, a car by Stripey Art and the stickers. Okay, random comment picker, please pick me a comment. The winner is Gavin Trampoline. Gavin, please email club at gmail.com. All right, that is about it, cool dudes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks especially if you join the club. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Stay cool.